that is is true. And uh, do you know? I haven't put this up on the website yet, but uh, wow! Can you guys hear that or no? Yeah, a little bit. Well, I mean that's. Great. It's hard to concentrate with that. Good lord. Roxy, God, is Roxy, okay? She's a class act. She's a class act, and Not she emailed me. She emailed me last week, my man. Oh, really? And you know Which, why? You know why? That? She was fired. And what's you're not that? gonna you're not gonna believe this because we talked about this last week. I'm gonna do I'm gonna write up an exclusive report for you guys. She was flat out told when she arrived at Impact. Last week, she was flat out told, not creative doesn't have anything for you right now. She was flat out told that her looks were the reason she was being fired. Are you fucking serious? I am dead serious. I am dead serious. She was so upset, my man. I've got an email here. I'm not going to read it off on air. But she was so upset last week when she arrived at the Impact tapings and was told, was, was told, was not told that... There's no creative plans for you. Was told that she was being released for looks. Damn. That's her, listen, that's her side, okay? That's her yeah. side, okay? And obviously there's there's two sides to, to every story, mm -hmm. and, and that's hers. But she was, I, I wish I could, the email, she's, she was upset in the email that she sent to me over a report that, that I did. And that's how I got the link to a personal blog site that she had opened up where well, she wrote a, a blog on if, um if she's uh if she's telling the truth which i have no doubt she is i mean how bad is that for business for tna you know what i'm saying like because the word gets around to other wrestlers you know it's uh, i mean it's just a fucked up thing you you don't, you don't tell somebody hey you're getting fired because uh you're not hot enough okay well, can't, doesn't you she just, have some kind of case there she could it's possible i mean shit i'd sue the Hell it's, out of it's fine. I, I don't know the exact wording that they that they said it, but she got the impression that it was due to her looks. Um, that's terrible. And that's. I, I, mean, I thought that, she was hot. You. I mean, if you're gonna fire somebody, okay, you just you don't say you're ugly. We're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna fire. And I'm not saying that that's exact. Obviously, they didn't say it exactly like that, but it was along those lines of. And she was one of their best wrestlers. Along the lines of the TNA knockouts need to live up to. Uh, to a certain standard, and what? she didn't fit that. You know, that must be that must be why they kept Kong's sexy ass around for so long. Yeah, yeah. How right. hot she is. Well, <laughs> she's a she's a different case. You know what I mean? She's, no, got, I that, she's got that monster gimmick, but oh, yeah. yeah, Roxy. Roxy's I'll tell one you, of the best wrestlers. Yeah, she was. She was one of the best. Ro and you know what? She's she's actually turned into well. I'm not gonna say yet, but she's actually turned into. I mean, she's a really, really nice person, and probably turned into a pretty good friend within the business. You know what I mean? After oh, yeah, after, sure. uh, after a couple emails this past week, but she's just an awesome, awesome person. Really, really cool, laid back chick, and really, I mean, just really upset, really upset for uh, for that release. But um, what a uh, Trent Acid. Yeah, um, there you go. Over the weekend, guys, um, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, Trent Acid was uh, found dead by his father. Father, right? Yeah, I believe yeah, it was yep. father. Um, in his apartment complex. I had talked to him not recently, um, long, long, long ago, um, through an email, and basically he had always had problems with all sorts of different drugs, was arrested for uh, heroin possession uh, not too long ago. I think that was his most recent arrest was for heroin possession. Apparently he had just completed drug rehab, and that's the problem, man. A lot of these people do so good, and they go in, and they complete drug rehab, and they get out, and they get back on the streets, and they call that one friend, man, that one friend that you had hung out with prior to going, and that's the problem is when you go into rehab and you get out, all your friends that you had in the past, any of them that did the drugs, you got to stay away from them, and basically that's what happened where went to rehab, got in contact with one of these friends, one of these former friends, scored drugs, and you've been off it. You know, you're in rehab, so you've been weaned off of it, and then you go out, and you're clean, and you go out, and you get fucked up, and sometimes you just don't know how fucked up you're getting, yeah. because before you went into rehab, you were used to doing so much, you get out of rehab, you think you still need that much, 
and you don't because your body's clean. Your body's been cleaned out, and that results in overdoses and, and things like that. And it's just so wow. many deaths from it too, dude. I mean, he over was, the years. What was he? I, I want to say he was. I was just about to ask you. <laughs> I, uh, I don't even know how old he was. I want to say 29, but I think he's older than that. Yeah, I think he's older than that too. Um, low 30s. I mean, it would have been low 30s, my man. Somebody uh, in the chat room, give me an age. Do a Wikipedia search or something like that for Trent Acid, uh, indie wrestler on the indie scene. But um, yeah, just a uh, 29, That's 29 years old um, is what they're saying in the chat room. So wow. just, just crazy. Um, Younger than I thought. Yeah, I mean, shoot, man, I'll be, uh, I'll be 29 here in uh, August, you know what I mean? I couldn't I couldn't imagine, you know what I mean, at, at such a young age like that. So. That's fucking crazy. Here, I got a, a question from a, from a, what I call a listener. You want to hear it? Sure, what do you got? All right, is there any info on who the mystery GM of Raw is, and if not, who do you think? Can we say their name, too? Put over the name. Dark Star 6990. Okay, all right, and what was it, what was it again? Is there any info on who the mystery GM of Raw is, or any guesses? That's a good question. Uh, real good question. We haven't uh, sure. we haven't talked about that. Um, I I talked to somebody last night, and uh-huh. here's my feeling behind this: is a lot of times people people come out and they ask, you know, what's what what are the plans for the Kane storyline, or who's the mystery GM? Uh-huh. WWE may not have an answer to that question <laughs> right now. And for you and me to try to figure this out, when they may not have an answer, I mean, think about it, guys. They may have came to Raw and said, we're going to do this, we're going to do an anonymous general manager, and then this week they'll go through and they'll you'll get more details on who it is. Mm-hmm. But it wouldn't surprise me if they don't have anybody in mind right now. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me, you know what I mean? And the same thing, well, it looks like the Kane deal. It looks like we're going to see Kane. I mean, that's just yeah. my feelings. But, well, for uh, you fun, know, let's throw him out there. I mean, we, we could take some guesses, you know what I'm, I mean? We could take I'm going to throw a guess out there. Go ahead. This is, this is my guess. I'm going to say, and like I said, I'm just pulling this out of my ass, uh, Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. And she's going to somehow, it's going to, I don't know, just something with that whole thing to me sounds seems fishy with McMahon. What do you think, okay... Not too long ago, okay, within within the last two months, there were plans in place that when Triple H returned, he was going to be a heel, okay? Mm-hmm. And that was months ago. Now, I'm not saying it would make a lot more sense for him to come out and do the sledgehammer. They could pull the ultimate swerve on all of us and have oh, Triple H yeah. beat the NXT crew. That'd and be there, was, there was talk, man. There was talk of turning him heel. These are just shots in the dark, guys. Nothing's confirmed, so no, not we don't uh, we don't have any of this down. But I mean, Stephanie McMahon. I don't know. Hey. Could be could be Triple H. Could I mean we know it's not Vince, right? Because yeah. they picked him last night. Hey, I I still think even though they beat his ass last night, I still think McMahon's in it. Yeah, I think that's going, true. I they could yeah, right. They could pull that swerve. They could pull that swerve. They could. Uh, they could play this out for for months and maybe bring Brian Danielson back sooner than later. You know, once it so passes over, and then everybody says, "Oh Jesus!" Then you'll see tons of hate mail. Oh my God, it was a work or it was a shoot the whole time. You guys got fucked. Blah blah. No no no. It's not a shoot. <laughs> this is the real deal. But um, uh, somebody says Jim Ross, Steve Austin. I don't think Steve. Nah. Gonna- Steve's not going to be back full time on a weekly basis to do anything like that. Jim Ross. Yeah, I can't see it. I don't see Jim Ross doing it either. Uh, it could be anybody. And like I said, guys, Ed, Shane. Nah, Shane's Shane's gone. He's he's gone for good. Um, I, it could be anybody, guys. And and like we said, they could be Ryan Clark. Could be me. <laughs> Chris Holland. You know what I mean? You never, never know. know. Um, like I said, I mean, they may not. They may have done the angle last night, and then they'll work on it this week. There may not be anybody set in stone right now. We just, I mean, we don't know. You know what I mean? Jesus, mm-hmm. there's more fireworks. You hear them things? Jesus. Yeah, dude, they're loud as hell. Good lord! You guys hear them over the stream? People listening? Hear them fireworks outside? Let's see. No, oh oh yeah, somebody says they heard them. Somebody said, oh yeah. Chad, Jesus, man. Good Damn, lord. everybody hears it. All right, check it out, man. We're uh, 10 minutes away. Um, 
Uh oh. I guess I better. Uh, I am my producer, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Didn't we say like five minutes or ten minutes? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give him uh, a couple minutes here. But um, basically, we gotta get out of here about ten minutes early, as we do on a mm-hmm. weekly basis. Want to let, uh, want to let my producer. Oh, we got two minutes. What do we gotta do? We gotta stick around for two minutes. Yeah, that's cool with me. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hold yeah. on a minute. Live right. radio, right? Give me a second. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Whatever. People don't want to hear a sexy voice. <laughs> chat shout-outs. Here we go. Chat shout-outs. That'll take up some time. A couple minutes. All right. Here we go. Shout-out shout out Captain Crunchy. Captain Crunchy. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wally 76 or Captain Crunchy. Connor 1111. TNA 12. Matt Hardy for Prez. Uh, we got the crappy poet, Tammy's Dirty Dildo. <laughs> Slacks 1. Super KO. Social. RVD. Uh, Jericho, 130, the McFanny Benson, the Pico, the Peco, Randall, Rockport, Shop Tommen, DX3000, Connor, Connor, Neil uh, Vince, 333, uh, WWE fan, fan yeah, uh, the People's Champ, 23, Not I don't know, did I get most of you guys? Pretty much. We get them. Excellent. Davy P just entered. I suck Marky dick. Mark. <laughs> I suck dick just entered. Uh, <laughs> RVD is in there. Uh, um, not all it. Yeah, we, Irish curse. Irish curse, no doubt. Hopefully, we got you guys. Um, we're gonna see you next Tuesday night, guys. We'll be back um, the next Tuesday, eight to ten Eastern time. We're here every week. Get this archive up as soon as I get it. Hopefully, at some point tomorrow. And. Uh, that's it, man. Hopefully it was a good show. And uh, we got through just about everything tonight. So we'll get out of here. We'll leave you on that note. And uh, stay tuned to the websites. Yes, see you next week. Stay tuned to the websites for uh, all the latest news, rumors, all that good stuff. Smackdown spoilers. We're going to have those over on ProWrestlingScoops.com. ProWrestlingScoops.com right now. Thank you guys for coming out. As always, everybody in the chat room, it's been fun. We will see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time on WZROnline.com for Chris Holler. That's him. That's me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we're going to work on this. <laughs> oh, for sure. Chris Holler. That's your boy. This is Ryan Clark. That's me. Saying see you next Tuesday night. And Acer, you mother. Fucking bot. bot just booted me from the chat room, you son of a bitch, motherfucker. Suck it. We'll see you next Tuesday night and eight to ten Eastern time. WZROnline.com. Blah.